how artificial intelligence is transforming the semiconductor industry. Our speaker, Alan Potter, Vice President, Electronics and Semiconductor Industry from Siemens Digital Industry Software, will introduce to us how the demand for AI in all sectors across the globe is fueling the demand for semiconductors. He will also talk about the latest advancement in AI for the semiconductor industry. So, Alan, please, over to you. Alan? Yes. Okay. Please go ahead. I'm going to go and just share. Okay. Are you able to share your screen? Okay. It's showing up. Okay. Can see now. Over to you. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon and thanks for having me. In the past 30 years, we've seen the semiconductor industry grow to over $500 billion in size. And over this period, we see three eras. First, the microprocessors and memory chips helped to enable the compute era, which started with mainframes and brought us the personal computer. Next, advancements in connectivity brought us the connected era and the advent of the smartphone. And now the digital era is enabling not only new products and services, but new business models. And semiconductors are continuing to deliver an increasing amount of value in these new products. At Siemens, digitalization is no longer tomorrow's idea. We take what the future promises tomorrow and, and make it real for our customers today. Welcome to where today meets tomorrow. Please take a look at the next video to see how Siemens enables digitalization in, in the electronics and semiconductor industry. Today is an incredible day. The industrial world is in the midst of transformation and never before has the pace of innovation moved so rapidly. The digital future of industry is no longer some far flung promise. Today, today's products are becoming smarter, more personalized. They're becoming intricate systems of systems challenging you to harness layers of complexity and data, blurring the boundaries between physical and digital domains, and comprehensive digital twins that represent and validate what is possible are not optional. They're required because they allow you to find new levels of efficiency and performance that are hardly imaginable. New insights, new opportunities, new levels of automation at every point of the value chain. This value chain this digital enterprise is where engineering meets tomorrow. It's where manufacturing meets tomorrow. It's where electronic design meets tomorrow. These aren't the promises of tomorrow. With Siemens Digital Industry Software, they're the opportunities of today. Siemens Digital Industry Software, where today meets tomorrow. Now let's look at four key semiconductor trends. First, new markets. Whether taking an existing product into a new geography or a new product into an existing geography, every one of the executives said time the market was one of the top, keeping their items that were keeping them up at night. And at many companies, product life cycles might last three to five years, but a significant portion of the lifetime profits often come in the first few quarters. Second, the semiconductor industry is arguably one of the most innovative industries when it comes to emerging technologies. Advancements in transistor density, power dissipation, performance, and features are essential to enabling 5G, 
AI and AR VR. To continue to deliver increased system integration capabilities moving forward will require even greater use of integrated digital solutions. Third, semiconductors are now going into everything from cars to appliances. This opportunity for consumer driven growth comes with challenges ranging from rapidly changing demand to an increase in part numbers associated with personalization. Finally, the growth in the fabulous foundry model along with consolidation of IDMs has had a profound effect on the semiconductor supply chain. Semiconductor design, manufacturing, and market fulfillment are now increasingly happening across continents and company boundaries. There are lots of opportunities for utilizing AI for growth in the semiconductor industry. From smart connected devices, to automobiles, to smart cities, but also a lot of challenges in the way of realizing those opportunities. Digitalization has led to an unprecedented level of complexity. To address this complexity, it is important to focus on your organization's process for starting with an idea, realizing it and improving it. For semiconductors, what does that mean? In design, it means more than just better point tools. It means using digital solutions that collaborate together. Electronic, mechanical, software, and simulation that allows for a shift left in activities and faster time to market. In manufacturing, it means going beyond just driving metrics like tool uptime to implementing a smart manufacturing system to support high volume and high part number portfolios. And after the product or service is delivered, it is more than just improving customer support. It's about how to continue to deliver increasing value to your customers. The landscape of user experience is changing and AI is at the forefront. From voice, gesture, and face recognition, AR and VR to high performance computing for gaming, as well as high performance computing for data centers to big data analytics and machine learning. Machine learning and deep learning applications are at the heart of this growth, such as classification and security through blockchain, which enables trust, AI and high performance computing for prescriptive medications and genomic and stem cell research, advanced driver assistance, ADAS, human aided design using AR, and real time analytics, data on probes for semiconductor manufacturing making real-time decisions, and industrial automation, intelligent robots, drones, and lights off factories, to name a few. Dealing with IC design collaboration challenges is essential across teams, across disciplines, across geographies, and across languages. The key is common platforms working toward common goals. AI is behind autonomous vehicles spanning a wide spectrum of devices, including cars, drones, and planes, to name a few. AI IC design solutions are key for complex development and validation challenges encountered by automotive OEMs, tier ones and tier twos that are developing ADAS, AV, IVI, and V2X products. A pre-silicon mixed fidelity closed loop full auto digital twin allows silicon and software design to occur in parallel, enabling system and ECU validation through the design cycle with realistic sensor data and auto dynamic, dynamic state. Incident databases scenario injection to prove roadworthiness years in advance of traditional methods. Application of function, functional safety EDA flows and fault campaigns for ISO 26262 compliance and SOC and software architecture exploration, development and validation, as well as AI algorithm development and testing. Challenges in AI design become opportunities with the right solutions. Key solutions include being efficient and error free to avoid respins using shift left methodologies to reduce costs and improve quality, optimizing power and performance, 
and delivering high quality and higher yield products quicker. As an example, I'm going to focus on the challenges of AI in autonomous vehicle applications and describe how Siemens solutions have been used to virtually simulate autonomous driving for system level design verification. First, let's consider international safety standards, one of the key requirements for autonomous vehicles. A useful perspective of the safety and reliability challenges AV developers face is to consider ISO 26262 and ISO 21448 as complementary specs, albeit at very different levels of abstraction. Siemens solutions bridge the gap between the two specifications, providing a virtual platform enabling incorrect assumptions of functionality of either spec to be identified and thereby dramatically increasing safety and reliability. There is a critical flow in methodology to designing and verifying an autonomous vehicle IC, including collaboration, compliance studies, flow performance and productivity. The four cornerstones are safety analysis, design for safety, safety verification, and life cycle management. Please take a look at the following simulation, bringing all these factors into virtual play. This is an example of an autonomous car in simulation mode using Siemens software. There is an obstacle and the car stops automatically we are using a digital twin to perform the following analysis, launching ADAS scenarios, emulating the SOC, performing the pre-silicon validation, making design corrections for braking rules, and validating the change against real life. The three ways to deal with the complexity of designing AI ICs and beat your competition is first to leverage the industry's most comprehensive digital twin. Second, flexible and reliable solutions are needed instead of cookie cutter tools. And third, the solution should be flexible enough to start your design journeys in different places and evolve them over time. So they must be world-class, but also open. Thank you for spending this time with me. In closing, I want to reiterate key considerations in AI semiconductor design to achieve optimal throughput and quality. They are shift left with simulations and analytics, advanced computing, and collaboration across design and cross-functional teams. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alan. Thank you for the presentation. Now, um, okay, participants, if you have any questions for Alan, please type it in the Q&A box. So now we have the first question here from Jay from UCT. Hi, Alan, is there any competitively priced platform within Siemens that local SMEs or smaller MNCs can apply to enable digitalization automation to get to the smart factory environment? Uh, yes, which, um, Siemens has different tiers of uh, applications from SMB to enterprise available. Okay, yeah, so uh, if they are keen, they can um, connect with your end to know more, right? That's correct. Okay, so I have a question here. So just now, Alan, you talk about the AI applications. So what will be the key semiconductor segments for AI applications? Uh, neural network chips for ADAS, like for cars and drones, mm. robotics, um, automated surveillance using vision, multi-sensor fusion use cases, 5G, 6G models, and gaming. So it's quite a lot and the spectrum is quite wide, right? 
Okay. So, and uh, second question that uh, I received here. When you talk about autonomous vehicles, what will be Siemens products or offerings on the AI and the uh, autom autonomous vehicles on these aspects? So Siemens has a comprehensive solution for ADAS design. It's called K360. Siemens acquired Solido, Solido Design Automation, which helps in the overall solution offering for ADAS. And with the Mentor acquisition and Siemens automotive industry deep expertise already there, it is best positioned to provide end-to-end -end solution for autonomous vehicles. Mentors Tessent is the market leader, leader in DFT solutions and that they help companies achieve higher test quality, lower test costs and faster yield ramps. The RTL based hierarchical DFT foundation in Tessent features an array of technologies and that's specifically suited to address the implementation of pattern generation challenges of AI chip architectures. GraphCore leverages these capabilities and the test in Silicon Insight integrated Silicon Bring Up environment on GraphCore's Colossus IPU to meet its test requirements while minimizing cycle time for DFT implementation, pattern generation, verification, and silicon validation. Okay. L last week, Global Foundries and Mentor Graphics collaborated to launch new semiconductor verification solutions embedded with advanced machine learning capabilities. Mm. I see. So we're talking about autonomous vehicles. Here comes in two questions. Is Siemens solution for autonomous driving used by any brands now? And the second question, yeah. maybe you can also uh, have a look. Do you believe ADAX, ADAX would be implemented in public transportation first before individual cars? Well, I'll answer the second question first. I think the, um, I think the public transportation it will, pro will offer opportunities um, probably more quickly than in the individual um, automobile applications. Although as we advance the ADAS in autonomous driving, um, when we start crowdsourcing data in, from smart cities, then we will have additional applications there. And yes, um, Siemens does have um, their portfolio in at several several customers and that's something that I can get into at another time if you connect with us. Okay. Okay, another question. How does the supply chain setup looks like for Siemens? Do you use wholesaler or other intermediaries? So it's like how you partner and you, uh, your supply chain set up, how you work with companies and suppliers. Yes, we do. We have different partners. It depends on localization in different countries. We have both, um, also have resellers in that area as well. Okay. So for companies who are interested to know more, feel free to connect to Alan on our LinkedIn page group. So uh, I think Alan will be able to send you more details and the uh, uh, sales and the respective contacts in Singapore. Is it correct? Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problem. So any other questions for Alan? Okay, uh, from Johan from Swatchlock. Do you see any impact on the trade war on AI collaboration or exchange of information between the two superpowers? I think it's US and China. Well, I think uh, since we, we serve both U.S. and China, um, we operate globally. So I don't, I don't see an impact from a Siemens standpoint. I'm not going to speak for other companies. So on the AI collaboration, actually, the impact is not visible, right, at this point? Right. right. Okay. Do we have other questions for Alan? If not, let us move to, another, to our second speaker of the day. And thank you, Alan, for answering the questions and your presentations. I know that actually it's midnight at your end, right? 
That's right. <laughs> so have a good rest and thank you so much for the presentation. Thank you, Jillian.